he's easily the coolest member of the X-Men. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Bobby Drake, otherwise known as Iceman. Oh, this is Bobby. I'm he's my... Call me Iceman. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline that unfolded in 1963's Uncanny X-Men number one, which was expanded upon in 2009's X-Men Origins Iceman number one. In his debut appearance, Iceman was first introduced to audiences when reporting to Professor Xavier alongside his team of superheroes. One of the original members of the X-Men, he first appeared already in his all-ice form while riding a stream of ice. Proud of his ability to freeze objects, Iceman demonstrated his skills to Beast, who in turn was angered, causing an argument. With this being broken up by Angel, the team prepared for their next lesson by the Professor. During this training, Iceman pleaded with Xavier to stop taking it easy on him, just because he was the youngest of the team at only 16 years old. Despite this, Iceman exemplified his youthful spirit by using a carrot and buttons to make himself look like a snowman. With Beast trying to catch Iceman unaware, he threw a bowling ball at him, which Iceman deflected back at his opponent using his ability to create ice. Next going up against Cyclops, Iceman created an ice cube shield, which failed to protect him from his colleague's heat beam. With training coming to an end at the end of the day, the professor asked them to get back into their ordinary outfits and prepare to meet Jean Grey their newest recruit. It was at this point that Iceman returned to his ordinary form as Bobby Drake. Shortly afterward, Xavier sent Iceman and the team on a mission to stop Magneto, who had begun an attack on an army base, aiming to use their missiles against mankind. Using his ice powers, Bobby froze the missiles in midair before protecting the team from an explosion by forming an igloo around them. Following this, Iceman remained a member of the X-Men team putting the chill on countless evildoers and threats to humanity. By 1986, he and the original team reunited to form X-Factor, before getting a massive power upgrade the following year in Thor 377. In that issue, Loki captured him and boosted his power levels in order to use him as the fuel for his ice cannon, before Iceman was freed by Thor. By 2009, the character was finally given an origin story. There, it showed a young Bobby Drake discovering his powers when he inadvertently froze his family pool. While Bobby felt like a freak, his parents were very understanding, telling him that he was a mutant and that he would have to learn to be careful with his powers. Soon, Bobby realized the scope of his powers, as he was able to use the moisture in the air to generate ice while freezing his whole body. During a run-in with a bully, in which Bobby lost control, he ended up freezing his hot-headed aggressor. His mutation discovered, it horrified his love interest and made his parents realize that they could no longer protect their son from the public. While Bobby packed up his belongings in preparation to flee, the police arrived and took him away. This resulted in Bobby being locked up while an angry mob demanded blood. There, he was soon broken out of jail by Cyclops and Professor X. Recognizing Xavier from the TV as being a mutant expert, he agreed to come and live at his school for gifted youngsters before becoming part of his special team. At the same time, Xavier used his power to erase both Bobby's parents and the public's knowledge of the event and Bobby's powers. Since his debut back in the early 1960s, Iceman has appeared in various comic books and cartoon series. Eventually, he was portrayed by Sean Ashmore in the live-action X-Men franchise, which showcased his life as a student, during which he fell into a relationship with both Rogue and Kitty Pryde, and eventually joined in the fight against Magneto's Brotherhood. Are you a fan of this chilly mutant superhero? For more frosty top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Think we'll see him again? Hmm. I can only hope.